In the political brief, John McCain likes his ribs, and Barack Obama scores another win. Hi everyone, and welcome to GetTheDaily.com. I'm Andrea Renee, and this is your political brief. Yesterday marked another milestone along the ever-intensifying race between Senators Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama for the chance to become the next U.S. President. Hillary was coming off of her big wins in Texas and Ohio, but yesterday Obama proved he can easily come back with a one-two punch. And even though Hillary won the Texas primaries, Obama took the caucuses, racking up even more delegates than her. Plus, he swept the Mississippi primary yesterday as well, relying heavily on the large black population in the southern state, which came out to vote in record numbers. Hillary's trailing Obama by about 130 delegates or so and conceded Mississippi and went straight on to Pennsylvania to continue her campaigning there, despite the fact that that primary is still more than a month away. Perhaps it will allow the Democratic candidates a chance to rest, otherwise they could get wiped out by the time they reach office. John McCain, on the other hand, can sit back and relax for a bit, knowing he has completely secured his spot in the race to get to the Oval Office. But he shouldn't get too comfortable grilling those baby back ribs because dark horse Ralph Nader is back. I know his face isn't spread around like McCain, Obama, and Clinton, but don't count him out just yet. He could make a comeback. That's your political brief from GetTheDaily.com. I'm Andrea Renee, and be sure to check back for ongoing election coverage.